Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are back doing another bracket. This one's gonna be uh, this third bracket, and I've called it like holds the chalk. It's gonna have less up up um, upsets, and it's gonna have more of the higher seeds kind of advancing, uh, more of the general. You well, know, it'll have some upsets. I have a different idea for a couple of the brackets, uh, just to get us um, a little bit farther into this. Um, and then I have another bracket planned after this that has uh, kind of a traditional, the more traditional. Um, looking bracket i guess so obviously kansas i'm gonna roll colorado in this bracket um maryland cal i take maryland and cal um i'm gonna take arizona in this bracket along with miami i'll take iowa here along with villanova so from here we're gonna have kansas and we're gonna take cal and take cal um they have all the talent to actually win the whole thing I doubt they actually will, um, but we're going to have Miami meeting Villanova, so 1, 2, 3, and 4 beaten up in this uh, first bracket. Uh, in the second one over here, North Carolina, I'm going to take USC here, which pretty much auto moves North Carolina because I don't think Pro I don't think USC can beat North Carolina. I think Providence could. Um, I'm going to take, I'm going to take Chattanooga, and I'm going to take Kentucky, which will move Kentucky for the first time into the Elite Eight for me. Um, we're going to roll Notre Dame and West Virginia, still move West Virginia, and then Xavier, Pitt, and Xavier. So one, two, three, four, and each of the brackets gets a little, going to get a little bit more funky down here. Uh, Oregon, Cincinnati, we're going to take Baylor and Duke, as well as Texas, Texas A&M, Oregon State, and Oklahoma. Roll Oklahoma, Texas A&M, taking Duke for the first time, and Oregon. Uh, so once again, one, two, three, and four. But it's going to get a little bit different down here. We've got Michigan State. We're going to take Gonzaga over Seton Hall, Utah over Fresno State, Syracuse over Dayton, uh, Gonzaga over Utah, Michigan State, Gonzaga in the Elite Eight, uh, Iona in Iowa State. We're going to roll. Do we want to roll Iona? Do we roll Iona? We're going Iona and Purdue, not Arkansas Little Rock. Texas Tech, Virginia, and I'm going to have this be the first real major. This bracket's going to go crazy down here with Texas Tech beating Virginia, Purdue beating Iona, and Purdue and Michigan State Big Ten Championship rematching up in the Elite Eight. Down here, it's going to be Oregon against Oklahoma. Um, I think Purdue, Michigan State could easily happen in this bracket. I uh, really could see Michigan State playing Purdue, Iowa State, or Virginia, really. Um, that's not kind of like the... I don't really see Duke... I really see Duke mac matching up with Oklahoma. And I think Oklahoma would, pretty, would take care of Duke pretty handedly because of Duke's short bench. Um, Buddy Heald good at drawing fouls. Um, well... Not great at draw, but he does draw fouls. So is the Oklahoma draws fouls pretty well as a team. They shoot the free throws really well. Um, and I guess we'll just go down here first. Michigan State and for the first time, Oregon into the Final Four for me. Um, out of this bracket, I, I know it's such a popular pick out of the Midwest to pick Michigan State, but I just don't see anyone else making the Final Four. Like, Iowa State, I guess I could move all the way into the Final Four. I don't see Purdue making it all the way to the Final Four. It would have to be Iowa State. You know what? Let's roll Iowa State into the Final Four. So we got Oregon and Iowa State in the Final Four. And for the first time, Villanova's going to lose to Miami. Kansas makes it to the Final Four. First time in my bracket. And West Virginia, Kentucky in the top bracket with West Virginia moving on to the Final Four. Uh, facing off against Big 12 opponent Iowa State. Number one Oregon against number one Kansas. I'm taking Oregon to play West Virginia in the national championship. And Oregon to win it all. A little bit different of a bracket from me. This will probably be the speed of these brackets from now on. A little bit quicker. Um, not as drawn out. Uh, but I will obviously be talking a little bit more. This was just a kind of a bracket to hold up to chalk. If I really wanted it to hold up, then it would be North Carolina, North Carolina... Uh, Virginia, Virginia, Michigan State. There you go. There's about the most generic bracket you can come up with. 
and then Michigan State, Oregon. That's about the most generic that you can come up with. It has minimal upsets and minimal excitement game-wise in here. Uh, just, I, I guess we'll roll with this for the up to chalk. It's minimal. It's got uh, the popular the popular pick out of the the West bracket here that I'm kind of surprised with is Texas A&M. I don't like Texas. A I like Green Bay honestly. At this moment, Monday, 1:21 in the afternoon. I prefer Green Bay over Texas A&M in that game. I like Carrington Love. I watched Green Bay play twice. I liked what I saw. Um, and out of all the 14 seeds, I like them the most. And uh, I could honestly see it happening. Um, that is my favorite upset pick of the tournament is Green Bay over Texas A&M, who people, who a lot of the experts uh, have going extremely far. Some people have Texas. There's a couple people I saw Texas A&M in the national championship, which I don't. I just don't see that. I just, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't like it, and I don't see it. So I guess hold up to chalk. We'll roll with this one. Um, I'll, yeah. It's so boring though. Three ones and a two. I like to have a little bit of a uh, uniqueness to my brackets because, like last year, like dude. People were like, oh, I had the Final Four correct. It was really easy last year. Let's be honest. It was the four that were, there was the three number one seeds that should have made it there. And the number eight seed Michigan State, who everybody had making it. Literally everybody um, had them beating Villanova um, or beating whoever to get there. Literally like everybody. So last year, if you had their Final Four back or correct, don't, don't pat yourself on the back. Dude, my, well, we do, like, a little family one with, like, my cousins and my aunt and uncle and stuff. And, like, they had it correct. So, let's let's slow down on people patting themselves on their back for last year's Final Four. Uh, but that's going to do it for this one. We've got Oregon beating Michigan State in this one. Uh, a completely new Final Four minus Michigan State. I think I've had Michigan State. Every, because I don't like anybody out of this bracket down here. I don't. I don't. Iowa State seems disinterested in playing defense. Purdue is mm, iffy at times. Virginia, I just don't like. They don't score. They don't score enough. They play excellent defense. They, other than Malcolm Brogdon, they don't have anybody to score. And it's depressing because they've had good teams. They had Justin Anderson last year who could get them points. They couldn't get it done when they had him. And Malcolm Brogdon. They can't get it done. They they can't score. I don't see them beating Michigan State. I really honestly probably don't see them beating Iowa State or Purdue. I just don't like them. They can't score. They are scoring challenged. While some teams are defensively challenged, like Iowa State, Virginia is scoring challenged and they can't score. It's, it's, it's rough. Yes, they hold opponents to, a, to an extremely low points per game, but they don't score enough. For me to be confident with them. So that's just my opinion. That is going to do it for this bracket. Oregon winning the national championship. Oh, we need a score. Michigan State, Oregon. We're going to go 72 to 67. There we go. Oregon beating Michigan State in the national championship. There are three different national championship picks for you. Um, bracket number three, we got first initial bracket, my second initial bracket, and the third that holds up to chalk a little bit more than I've had. Well, this has one, has one upset, Chattanooga upset in Indiana. I think that's it. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. I took Iona in this bracket and I switched it up because it needs to hold a little bit more to chalk. Uh, oh, Gonzaga, I have, I have Gonzaga making it pretty far. Um, so this is just kind of a... Simple bracket, uh, holds the chalk bracket, so I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you all in the next bracket video coming up later today. So I'll catch you guys then. Peace out.